Steve Summers, Marty Martindale for educk.com. Marty, the Ducks come up with a 84-71 win over the Oregon State Beavers here in the first round of the Pac-12 uh, Conference Tournament here in Las Vegas at the MGM Grand. What a game. Well, it started off kind of weird. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, Oregon was down by 10 points. Then they were ahead by a lot. Then they were ahead by one point at halftime. And then in the second half, everything changed. Well, it was, uh, again, the at one point, Joe Young hit four straight drives to the basket. Uh, the Beavers were letting, uh, instead of they were playing a man-to-man, -man, allowing him to get to the basket. He scored. They called timeout. But at that point, the, uh, it seemed like the mold was cast. It seemed like he had four points in the first half. Uh, in the second half, he went off ended up with 19 points, so he had a very good game. And I was also very impressed with Ben Carter. Uh, didn't show a lot in the stats with a lot of rebounds or anything, but he played great defense, real heady game, and uh, I just thought he played really well. I, I was really impressed. Also, Dominic Artis, uh, he had 10 points, six assists. Uh, looked like he had his mojo back, uh, you know, a lot of confidence. You could see that warming up before the game, and I thought he looked good uh, throughout the game. I think maybe he had two turnovers the whole game, and uh, played a really solid game. Well, the, the Ducks had four players that finished up in double figures, but as we've been saying all season long, this is a jump shooting team, and uh, Coach Dana Altman is just the master at calling timeouts and getting this team on successful two-minute and, and one-minute runs. Well, they were, they were really trapping well, great defense, uh, Roberto Nelson, leading scorer in the Pac-12, uh, had 13 points in the first half, had one field goal in the second half for a total of six points in the second half. So uh, they were playing really good defense. Well, they are uh, certainly are on this roll. This makes, what, uh, eight straight uh, wins. Yeah. And they will be uh, facing somebody that they uh, beat uh, a couple of weeks ago in UCLA tomorrow at about 6 o'clock. Well, and as Dan Altman says, they're the top offense in the conference. Uh, one really uh, good thing about tonight was no player played more than 28 minutes for Oregon, so they should be relatively fresh for tomorrow night. They're, they didn't have to wear anybody out. That Oregon depth, which uh, we've talked about all season long, really came to play tonight. Yeah, it was a good performance, second half especially. Uh, wasn't real thrilled with the officiating, but I won't get into that. <laughs> One glaring uh, statistic is that Oregon uh, created uh, uh, 15 turnovers, of the, or the Oregon State had 15 turnovers, so Oregon's five turnovers, so that had a lot to do with Oregon's defense. Right, right. No, it was a good effort, and it, they were really flying around. Even at the end of the game, you could see that Oregon State was starting to get winded, that their feet weren't moving very fast. I think that's what was opening things up for Joseph Young. He saw that lane and he was taken off, and OSU just couldn't respond. You know, they were burned out. Well, tomorrow night the game is uh, going to be carried again at, on the Pac-12 Networks with a tip-off scheduled for about 6.06 uh, .06 p.m. here at uh, the MGM Grand here in Las Vegas. So until then, this is uh, Steve Summers with Marty Martindale for educk.com. Should be a good game.